Hey YouTube, Shuffle Does here again, and we're working on the Live Edge Epoxy Desk. This is episode three in the series. Last episode, I worked on leveling the table and completely covered it with the seam tape. Uh, now to protect that, uh, laying down some moving blankets to protect it from getting damaged while I start the same process. I'm just using a random orbit sander with some 220. So as I begin to clean up the newly cut edges here, uh, the next step is to secure this down to the table. And I'll tell you a little bit more about these blocks. Like a glove. Pretty basic setup here. The scrap I had for the melamine, I cut into squares and screwed two together and wrapped them with the seam tape. Right, wrong, or indifferent, I chose to do four equally spaced apart. I thought that was adequate for this size table. The cross piece is a basic two by four. And the idea here is a clamp on both ends to secure it to the table that won't interfere at all with the epoxy pour. I'll later take these off when I do the flood coat, but I don't want the slab to move. Placement of these blocks after I clamp them down also helped with leveling left and right to make sure it's dead flat to the table.
right, guys, there you have it. Uh, sanded the ash slab, placed that into the frame, and then seal coated the edges, used a blowtorch to pop any of the bubbles. I made sure to get a good seal all the way around to the table. Uh, this can always be trimmed back and sanded, and the stuff in the middle will just be covered with the deep pour epoxy. So any excess in there really won't matter. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit the like button and please subscribe. And this is a little teaser of the next few episodes.